you gotta give me a three second count or something. Sure thing. How's that? Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Tom, and welcome back to day four. Day four? Of yeah. 2012 South by Southwest. Lost count at this, uh, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Tom, how was, your, uh, how was your fourth day? It was good. I actually um, I didn't do a lot of sessions today. In fact, it was very light on the sessions. I had, I had some meetings. Um, I'm moderating a panel tomorrow on... Um, oh, yeah, how are you? Yeah, yeah imagine that. that. Yeah. On um, vetting in the age of social media, who do you trust? That sounds um, very, very interesting. <laughs> if I were here in Austin, I would go check out that panel. Tomorrow at 9.30 as Tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. at the Sheraton in Austin. So, um, I actually I, I just hung out with the uh, the panelists. We went and we went over some notes. Um, one of our panelists, uh, Alicia Stewart, is a producer, executive producer over at CNN. So okay. she got us. Uh, we had our meeting at the CNN Grill. Very nice. Um, which, for those of you who don't know, the CNN Grill, I, I find it fascinating. They, they basically took over uh, a restaurant. I think it's Max's Wine Corner mm -hmm. or something. Max, Max's. Um, and they took it over and they turned it into a CNN restaurant. Yeah, and they um, they and do this once just once a year. Right? They did it. Well, they. They do it at some of the, um, the conventions, the, the, conventions, yeah, the political right. conventions, so the Democratic National Convention, I think they did. Um, and they did it last year at South by, and it's just an overwhelming success. That's um, awesome. I mean, the inside of it is great. Like, they, they've got neon signs that are, you know, yeah. CNN, and they've got these old decorations on the wall that make it look like an old barbecue joint, but it's got CNN <laughs> That's all great. over it. That's great. That's um, great. So the branding, branding opportunities were great there. They had... Um, all the beer taps have CNN logos. <laughs> and you can see it from everywhere. I actually haven't been there, but you can see it. They're, they're in a great position downtown as well. Um, oh, I, how about you? What did you do today? I got to a lot of panels. Um, some I left early and went to others, but uh, I'm, I'm mostly really great uh, stuff today. Um, I went to one panel, and uh, one of the things I heard speakers say is that uh, Facebook should really consider uh, paying their users for the content they publish on Facebook because it enriches Facebook. And that sounds like a very progressive way to look at it, but he was actually saying it from a business model that it would actually would help Facebook enrich their own you know, products and it would be good for them down the line, not just for the users. I mean, I think every user would you know, probably like that status, but uh, it's, um, it would be good for Facebook too. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting concept and it, it sort of goes along. I wonder if people would, would think more, um, if the, the, the quality of the yeah. content would be a lot better. I mean, I'll take um, my check. I feel like I put a lot of stuff on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, so. right. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much they pay me for like pictures yeah. of my kids on Facebook. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> in that same panel, there was an interesting uh, point that the speaker made about the timelines that people should be able to give, uh, be given uh, multiple timelines. You should be able to have more than one personality online. And the reason behind that is that you, you suddenly are lost the ability to reinvent yourself. And the examples he gave that were great were Bob Dylan and Mark Twain, who were originally Robert Zimmerman and mm -hmm. Samuel Clemens. So the uh, there's a sort of this great, you know, or Don Draper would be another one. That was probably a little more illegal, but um, you know, people should be able to have, I guess, multiple personalities. Uh, on, on Facebook. So being able to sort of stop your account and start fresh? Yeah. yeah it's I, the American dream. A it, lot it's, <laughs> it's something that's been brought up a, a few times. I, I remember last year they were talking about it too, like you should have one redo <laughs> for <laughs> Facebook. You know, yeah. like Facebook should allow you to just, okay, clear it's everything. I'm starting from, from the beginning. I'm it's starting from scratch. Yeah. yeah, who knows if we <laughs> make it happen. I don't know. I will say, but uh, another, another really good one that I saw that it was um, it was. It's not news. It's business panel, and that's sort of a recurring thing I've seen all week. I remember earlier uh, in the week I saw somebody say, uh, "Not for profit is a tax status. It's not a business model." And this panel sort of took that a little bit further. One of the things that the panelists spoke on, and they were from a bunch of different places. I know one of the women there was from Good Magazine out of LA, which is a great magazine. Um, but one of the things she said was that audiences always they don't they don't view the news as a product, even though that's essentially what these, these media outlets are doing, they're producing a product, um, and it needs to be seen as a product because they need to get paid, they need to pay their bills, they need to live, and if they're publishing this product, regardless of how the audiences see it, you know, it needs to be a commodity, yeah. it needs to be you know, uh, viewed from the bottom line. Hmm. Yeah, interesting concepts. Yeah, there's, there's just, there's a lot here, there's a lot of content. Um, the big session today was uh, Al Gore and uh, yeah, Sean Al, Parker. Al Gore and Sean Parker, as I said, 
I was afraid that wouldn't do good for either one of their egos, but uh, <laughs> it was good it, though. Yeah. It was tame. It it, was... I mean, I, I actually waited online at the convention center. I got there probably quarter to five when they opened up the doors, and the line was around the convention center yeah. to get into the hall. I got shut out of the hall. I went to one of the simulcast rooms and saw a little bit of it. Then um, I, the feed actually cut out because yeah. too many people were using the bandwidth. <laughs> so I, I came back to another simulcast room. But yeah, it, I caught it, some in the simulcast room too. It was it was good. Yeah, and and they're both just advocates of, of technology and you know occupying the system. You know, basically, uh, Sean Parker, Parker and, and Al Gore both were saying that we're at a point right now where um, the incumbents just inherently move so slow. So mm -hmm. if you want change, now is the time to do it. If you want, you know, run for office or, um, you know, just know what's going on in the political system. Don't be apathetic. Yeah, they were talking, they used uh, Soap and Peeba as examples of that, and Sean Parker was calling that the nerd spring. Yeah, nerd as a, spring. As a play on the Arab spring. And that was a good, you know, that was a pretty good example of people getting a active and involved. You know, you take away someone's LOL cats and they'll, uh, they will <laughs> respond to a call to action. Well, so. and, and he was saying that, you know, most people don't realize that there are, there are 800,000, I think he said, 800,000 elected positions in this country. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. That's more people than the vote. Yeah, I mean, you yeah know, that's you can go more than some states. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's insane. And, and, you, no one knows who they're voting for. You know, you go in on election day, you, you choose, you know, your president or your senator or whatever. Then there's, you know, 30 other elections yeah, that you're true. voting for. That's you true. have no idea who they are. They said one in six people in the United States is an elected official at some point. That's amazing. Yeah, it, it was an amazing statistic. I need to look it up. Well, if it's not, <laughs> to verify. To, to verify. verify. Yeah, we had to yeah. that as well, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, it was another great day at South by Southwest. We'll be back tomorrow for a final recap. I wish I had coffee in this little diner session. Yeah, we're going to wait for the waiter. Until yeah. then, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.